yesterday we had our session. Yeah. Turned out great, but one of the moments from sessions were, was um, was this one. So. But yeah, I didn't talk too much. You remember? <laughs> no, yeah, that noise. Yeah, but look, they made it into a meme now. So <laughs> Chicago, bit look at this. The moment when someone zapped goes to Rockstar during panel. Look, look. Yeah, but, but yeah. So. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't talk too much. So, and you joke? So, yeah, I mean, I that did. That was a crazy I mean, noise. Yeah. yeah, it was. So, Rockstar, buddy, we're here in Costa Rica, at Costa Rica. What an event. You've been, you've done a lot of work organizing this, um, which I'm very, very grateful for. And we've got all these interesting people in this small space, this beautiful place, and uh, the exchanging of ideas. Great talks, great workshops. It reminds me very much of the, you were at the Lightning Hack days, weren't you, the first Lightning Hack days? Yeah, I actually, I actually even told Jeff that this will be like Berlin, uh, but better. And uh, he was like, nah, but he's biased. So yeah, shout out to Jeff, one of the best organizers. Oh yeah, man, they, they nail it, don't they, the Germans? Yeah, full yeah. mo. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard to beat like a tropical jungle for a venue, isn't it? I mean, Berlin's nice, of course, but we are in a tropical jungle. Um, what's been your takeaway then so far, like watching the talks and workshops? What's been the, the thing you kind of taken away from this conference, if you were to describe it to someone after, after, after attending? I mean, it's turning into what I hoped it will turn into, and that is like a new beginning. Like, like we talk about those uh, lightning hackathons, they spawned like so many they brought people together and spawned so many teams, so many companies. And uh, that's what I'm seeing that's happening here at Nostrika. Like people are getting to know each other. They're like getting to know new projects. For example, I had no idea that uh, Arc, see like Ben Arc, but Arc, that client is so far away, like uh, Telegram. I, I'm actually hoping that next uh, Noster conference we can even use that instead of Telegram because for this conference we depended this a is, lot on This is on a Telegram. like a Telegram client in Noster, is it? Yeah, yeah, Dude. it's like, yeah, you see, like there is so much content you didn't see I that. Didn't, I didn't know, no. Session, yeah, and um, it was demoed yesterday. First session was Marty from like Iris. He had amazing session and then after that arc and I was like, this is what I wanted to build. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, being in a jungle. Like, this is what I wanted to build, but I just didn't have time. Like, look, someone did even a better job. So, so yeah, for me, it's all about that. It's like people coming together, um, on conference, conference style, like, but, you know, coming together, creating these new teams, these new projects. And I can't wait to see where it will take us next. I agree, man. I mean, like, I, I would say, like, two out of every three people I speak, I've spoken to, maybe more, maybe it's like four out of five, um, a building, actively building a project, and they, they've got some new client, uh, some new Nostar client, you know, uh, this is the first time I've heard about this Telegram one, I'm gonna have to hunt them down and, and ask them about that. Um, but yeah, and like with the market stuff, man, like we, we, we thought we were leading the way, pioneering with this Nostar market stuff, but as it turns out, like, <laughs> There's a large group of people who are all working on similar projects, yeah. like and and, we, and talking to them, we're talking about how we can make it interoperable. Um, that's the beautiful thing about Nostar, isn't it? Is you can yeah, and uh, this conference also is like bringing new people in. Like I I was unaware of these uh, teams and groups that were working on decentralized communication protocols, but didn't have that runaway success. So that you like we're all part of mainstream unfortunately but like you're you're like your niche is bitcoin but you're then you have mainstream and you just don't explore niche of decentralized communication protocols yeah but like true. those those people came to this conference and it's amazing it's like all of them and like not all of them but like a lot of them are switching to Noster, which which is another validation um uh, one other validation point and for me like big takeaway is like okay we have areas in which we will go and which we will grow like okay that's the next big group i guess on on us so that is that something so that's one of the one of the things you're excited about is seeing because i mean you know, i met a guy who's been working for years on this this um project and it's based on skull but you yeah. know the um the protocol um 
but it's got a bottom. I mean, it's great, but it's very slow. That's one yeah. of its, you know, one of its issues. Um, and now they're retrofitting Nostar in there, and you've already got like a pretty well developed project they've been working on for a couple of years. And now they're just going to get Nostar. And that's the great thing about Nostar is it it is easy to kind of retrofit into things. Um, but what do you think is the next stage for Nostar? Because what we're seeing, you know, the tele the the, the, the uh, Twitter clones and we're seeing Telegram now Telegram and we've got the market stuff like how do you think where, where do you think we'll be in the next six months from now with Nostar? I, I hope we continue this trajectory that I really try to capture in the, in the session that I asked you and Fiat Jeff to join in because like I wanted to for you too to tell that story of Nostar Genesis and set the foundation so that people see, like a lot of people think, oh, Nostar only succeeded in December of 2022. Yeah. It's like, no, there are like waves of people and yeah. some of them we, we didn't even like get to see here at Nostrika, but hopefully we will see them at the next one, you know, like Super Testnet, uh, yeah, Richard. Yeah, like that. Shout out to those Sh guys. Shout out to them. It's like, there were like waves after waves of developers that were like slowly pushing and adding like their their little thing and then also you and me were like went away too busy with other projects yeah yeah but then someone like yeah william came in and just created this client on ios that people started using it and then yeah i think damas was really yeah I mean, Jaff said that in the in the interview didn't he, he said that it was a very pivotal moment that's when people really it brought a lot of new users because they could just download an app and it yeah, so for me, it's really like in six months, I don't expect that, you know, we will take over the world, but <laughs> with Nostar, but and with a hashtag, but that we will be in a better place, like, and like, hopefully exponentially better than the place we are at now. Yeah. Is like that all this energy of people coming together will now, I don't know, like, okay, let's, let's start using our client yeah. instead of Telegram. I feel and, like yeah let's create that critical mass so that's that's yeah. really my hope because for me as someone who has been in startups for over a decade now in US like as soon as wow. I immigrate to US only startups yeah that's what I always see in a successful uh, startup is like you need a leader like you need a company especially if it's new category as Noster you need that company to like set the stage set the pace bring mainstream in and I, I i do hope like maybe damus is is that company maybe people will invest in it they will like become bigger and then it can become so i would say to tldr it if we see big n company based on noster get funded and like start to be really successful in the next six months like that will be dream come true for for me i mean as far as i can see unless something cataclysmic happens there's such momentum and there's such energy and projects like Damus are so far ahead. I, 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 mean, I don't want to be too hopeful, but I really can't see what can go wrong unless there's some cataclysmic issue, which none of us have seen, which I think is very unlikely because the, the mines here are really quite incredible. Um, so you've been, in, you've been in the US for 10 years doing, doing startups now. Yeah. Wow, how is it a strike? I mean, Things are as, as good as they were ever with Strike. I mean, Strike... Any uh, Nostar stuff coming into Strike at any point? Just sneak oh, in, maybe? Listen, now, now that you mention it, yeah, we need to look into it because for people in Strike, we now started off from like Nippo 5, you can have Rockstar at Strike.me. Um, that, that's maybe a good, good uh, point that all the companies can integrate with it's yeah like and you, it flies you, nice yeah yeah and then you as a roger veer of noster like yeah, exactly. you just take over with noster.com com. Yeah. yeah like i by the way we already agreed i get r at noster.com yeah if you want it so yes yeah. whenever you want it there we yeah. go now it's me you <laughs> now, and now listen yeah we after this video we were hop, hoping to like give people more uh, information from Nostrika. Yes. All you're going to get are requests for Nostra.com nips. That's true. Well, there's going to be a price, you know, <laughs> because I, I've, I've been told by my good friend here, you know, Rockstar, who's a, a very successful capitalist, that, the, yeah. that you know I can't give these things away for free. There we go. You 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 I would can't do it. State and yeah. issue them with a queue. I can't get everyone to queue. That's what I really want is a big queue, and everyone queues up for the. Nostar.com at five. Uh, no, but I mean, 
maybe that's the successful company in the next six months. But to get back to like what can go wrong, um, and to get back to strike, so let's first finish strike. Like um, yeah. zapping functionality, like I think it will be something that all lightning companies do, and that one will be huge. And we already can do that with strike, but I, uh, yeah, I'm going to explore that more within strike. I like with strike. I mean, obviously, I mean it's the it's like the um, the a wallet which is, is is built being built for the the world of normal users. Yes. So I mean, as Bitcoiners and we're exposed to the technology, we then we can't see past some of our own techno babble. So you end up with like complicated UIs and lots of different functionality and supporting all these different protocols. And although like God, I would love for something like LNUL to be in strike, I can really understand why there's a very conservative approach to implementing things like that. Because before you know it, it ends up this messy environment, which normal people are going to be scared of, you know? It's like everything has its uh, pros and cons. And like every action you take creates yeah, good things. It creates, yeah, there, there, there is some trade-off. So yeah. when it comes to that, yeah, um, we were quite conservative, but I don't know. I, I personally, I, I like Ellen URL. Like I, I like those pragmatic protocols and Fiat Jeff seemingly like he can't help himself, but uh, create, you know, pragmatic yeah. protocols that get well adopted. Pragmatic so protocols. Is that, have you coined that? Is that a, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how nice, I, protocols. I, that's uh, it. it's true. And um, yeah, I, when it comes to Ellen URL, yeah, definitely. Some people are hoping that, you know, that it will be like, oh, it will be either LNURL or Bolt 12. Like, I think at this point, they will need to coexist. I agree. And, um, yeah. yeah, looking forward to that. In BTC Pay Server, because you, you can have, like, modules and plugins in BTC mm -hmm. Pay Server, is there anyone actively building Nostar? Because I swear I've heard some whispers of people yeah, building Nostar. Yeah, Cooks, Cooks bought, uh, uh, built uh, NIP 05, but... We at BTC Pay Server, we are looking if um, what can we do uh, regarding Noster. It's just we're at the point where there there are like so much demand on on project time. Like it's one of the most popular open source projects. Yeah, it's so it's yeah. So it's it's about organizing the roadmap in a scalable and and yeah, sustainable way. Mm. And yeah, going from there. I I have tons of ideas. Like one of, if I may, like yeah, go in direction of. One of the things I would love is um, integrate Zaps with our crowdfunding. Oh wow, yeah, that'd be cool. Is is like, hey, you know, I am uh, sending n notes on Noster in support of this crowdfund. Whenever you zap me, it goes towards crowdfund. That's great. Yeah. And That'd be really nice. we have features like that, um, and yeah, but I, I expect yeah they will they will come on our roadmap this year. Like when exactly we'll need to talk with um, main PM Pavlenix mm -hmm. <laughs> to see how he's helping arrange the roadmap. It's pretty incredible when you think of it, like because obviously there was this in, people actively tried to not entangle Bitcoin with Nostar early on. Inevitably, most of the people working on Nostar are Bitcoiners or you know, Bitcoin affiliates almost. Um, uh, and it's not necessarily a bad thing that people are building Bitcoin into, into Nostar. Um, but it, it, it's actually really quite exciting to think that how, how much Nostar can benefit Bitcoin. It, it's exposing people who go onto a social media platform like Snort, for example, and then they can start zapping people. Like, I, I was always wondering uh, what comes after Twitter because Twitter was instrumental in like, like I guess all of us um, kind of unconsciously had that migration from, you know, if you were in Bitcoin in 2012, you were on Bitcoin talk. Yeah. And then you were on Bitcoin talk, you migrated to Reddit. Yeah. And from Reddit, you migrated to Bitcoin Twitter. Uh, and now, where where do you go from there? Gosh, yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, it's, Bitcoin it's, was like very, very Twitter centric, and it wasn't just because Jack Dorsey was a, a Bitcoiner. I think Bitcoin I mean, he is just became a, a Bitcoiner, in my view. Not right? during that period. Maybe. Yeah, like, like as we were. Uh, by the way, one of my favorite hobbies is is like going back and like 
what are now big accounts with hundreds of thousands of followers on yeah, Twitter. Yeah. Like going back to their tweets from 2018 yeah. and like seeing them scream into void with like zero likes or retweets. Yeah. Like these people. But Bitcoin, Twitter really built up people. The main question was like, we always knew that's not where it will end. Like we, we need another platform. Yeah. And that's what Nostr is really becoming. It's okay. Do you know somebody who can help us leaving the property because the gate is closed? No, sorry. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. No problem. You need to join. No, you the carry on. What Let's do you think go. about Nostar? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what Nostar is? Are you part of the conference? Yeah. Are you staying here? Yeah, we were at the conference. Okay. How sorry. did you How did you find it? How did you enjoy it? Sorry for interrupting. Yeah, we love it. It's fantastic. It came as a family. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And that's another thing actually about this conference is it's very family friendly, isn't it? There's lots of people with kids and stuff and it's such yeah. a beautiful spot, like, you know, it's a good excuse for a holiday. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, you will see tomorrow we're going to have organizer session yeah. with like retrospective of the whole conference. Oh, great. And um, uh, that's exactly where we hope the audience will come in and say, hey, this is what we liked about the conference, yeah. this is what we didn't like, and then already start planning for the next one you know because a lot of people are like especially home team they're like it should always be here and yeah. there are other people that like me who say the next one is in brazil like watch out via jeff yeah <laughs> yeah we're, we're coming for you and yeah because our original idea was six months always different place yeah but we'll see yeah it's funny because it was they had that with the lightning hack days and i i, I wanted them all to be in berlin yeah. Um, uh, and I, I don't know. I, I think there's nothing. I think there's nothing wrong with both. Like it could be in Brazil, it'd be great. It could be here again, it'd be great, and people will come to it. Um, but you've done a fabulous job, uh, and thank you so much for for organising, help organising the conference, and you know, Jack Dorsey as well. Like he was involved heavily in the conference. Was it his idea for the conference, or it was his idea? Wow. It's just that um, it's so ambitious as well to make a three-day conference in a matter of months. Yeah, and uh, to tell you the truth, it was it was uh, it was fun experience in the end because the idea was always like on conference conference. Yeah. Like, there were people that were like, "Oh, I'm coming and I'm a big name and I want to give a speech." Yeah. What? <laughs> but to all of them we were saying like, no it's like on conference conference style um yeah it did end up being like more planning Structure. and then there there were people that are like calling out like oh you don't have agenda 100 percent set it's like that's the point like people yeah. like your panel today a lot of people liked it i p2x yeah, just important. asked you yeah. hey participate in panel and at 3 30 uh nvk saw like a lot of these now founders essentially that are building projects on Oster yeah. and are figuring out you know should I take VC investments how should I monetize how, how do I make this from I'm coding for fun and having like you know spending my savings into I am participating in this big protocol that's growing and I want to create sustainable business so I mean and he's, he's a great supportive per and this is for, for the people who have their projects and they want to build in something more one of the best things about coming to Costa Rica is I think you're, you're exposing that there, there are some VCs, there's some people who've been doing businesses for a big, a long while, yeah. at Bitcoin, <laughs> uh, like yourself. And then you've got this, this this mass, vast wealth of knowledge which people can learn from on, on how how do you develop the free and open source project, and then also how do you also maybe build a business out of it? Yeah, that's that's my like side project here. Is like I actually got few VCs to come. Uh, and uh, now, like, it's great when they're not in a suit, they're in, you know, t shirts. Yeah, and, and, and they look up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I'm like connecting with them with founders for informal talks. It's like, yeah. like, don't, you're not against each other. No. Like, you just talk openly. Yeah. You may never take investment, you never, never may invest, but just like talk openly, like, exchange ideas. Like NVK wants to do at 3 30, like, he became inspired and he, now he wants to share his view of he's a, uh, how he built the business yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and like, it's a good great business as well the cold card and all the stuff he does very um, good well yeah thank you so much rockstar i think uh yeah that's thank that's you ben and we're, thank we're you. always Honestly, good thank team. you for so much for no. all, everything you've done it's really good let's keep going cheers dude